Hey here, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I have a Christmas card bulk make inverted commas for you. So I'm going to be making four cards. You could obviously increase that to as many as you want, but I'm just doing four. This is unlike last week, which was one that I pre-recorded from last year. This is one that I've done currently, which did mean coincidentally that it ended up being a stamping up one as well. It wasn't something I realized or tweaked at the time, but I thought I would share it with you anyway. So I hope you enjoy and let's get crafting. So we're starting out with our card bases. We've got here four six by six white card bases. These are not stamping up. These are just ones that I had made and I have also had made to go with them a layer, a mat in the white that's a quarter inch smaller. So five and three quarters by five and three quarters. But of course it's simple enough to make your own six by six cards by cutting a 12 by 12 piece in half or just if you have some already done. So that's the cards all scored and folded. So now we're gonna be working on those five and three quarter mats. So for this, what I want to do is add some of this beautiful um, paper from this Color Theory Designer Series pack from Stamping Up. In there's several different designs and I want two of the Dapper Demonin Ombre and two of the Berry Burst Ombre. And then I'm just gonna use some tape pen and I'm just gonna stick that down onto the front of each card before moving on. And I'm just putting it in the top corner there so I've only got two sides to cut away. And then having stuck all four, I'm just using my little mini guillotine here and cutting off those two edges. And there they are all done, looking gorgeous. So now we're gonna be working on our card bases. So we're taking some more pattern paper and I'm cutting that down to five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So next I cut a piece of card in the just plain cardstock in the dapper denim and the berry and I pop that onto the inside of our card just to add a little bit of interest and just to bring that colour to the inside and also to balance the weight because we're obviously putting layers on the front so then what happens is the front becomes much heavier than the back and it just sort of makes it feel sort of thin even if it isn't so now all I'm doing is just sticking down that patterned piece that we cut out onto the front of that card so now I've got the cards done with the fronts all stuck on and the insides all done so now we're moving on to the stamping and I'm starting out with the Knight in Bethlehem set and I'm I'm going to be stamping using the Stamping Up Black ink because as you can see what I've used by using this ombre card is created almost like a, a sky background where it's sort of paler at the bottom where the sun is kind of going down and sort of darker at the top so it's giving that kind of night sky look and I thought it would be nice to have it in the blue but also in the lovely berry colour because you could have a lovely sort of red berry sunsetty look so I thought it would just kind of slight slight stretch with the berry but I still felt it would work well so what you want to do is you, if you've got a stamp platform in particular this will work really well but even if you haven't you want to stamp each element across all four pieces at one time so here I've got a row of houses so I'm going to stamp all of those houses across all four now there as you can see slightly sketchy the way the black has gone down I deliberately left it like that I didn't want it to be stronger because it's kind of in the background so I wanted it to be a slightly sketchier paler look so then these two pieces are slightly more in the foreground these are some um actual people so we've got Mary and Joseph and we've got the shepherd so those are more in the foreground so I am actually going to ink them a couple of times and re-stamp them just to get that darkness of color that I want now if you haven't got a stamp platform you will just want to make sure that you really get enough ink on in the first place so then I'm stamping with the other set called waterfront for my kind of scenery section so this had some lovely uh, palm trees which I thought would work really well so the first thing I'm doing is adding those in 
and again for this I need to stamp them a couple of times. Now these were photopolymer so I decided to use my versifying for it. I just felt it would work a little better and um, they were quite fine sort of leaves on the stamp so I felt it would get that detail really well. And then again, as I say, I stamped that a couple of times, so it overstamped the buildings really well. Then we had the, I was going to say stalks, but I don't mean that. I mean the trunks of our uh, palm trees, and I just popped those down. Now, the first time I stamped that, I stamped it completely, just went across the whole lot and stamped it down. Now, it's fine, but when you looked really close, you could kind of see a little bit of the trunk sort of on Mary it was kind of in the front so what I did on the second time is I've stamped it and then I kind of just avoided a little bit of that area of the bottom part of the trunk there you can see I'm just wiping it off a little just so that it missed Mary so that it kind of sat behind her but it didn't actually stamp over the top of her just to get a bit more um perspective and then again I just used some other elements from this stamp set and I stamped them onto the cardstock but what you're seeing here is not me changing I am still doing each section at a time so as you can see here I've done the first section on there of the sort of sandy kind of that's kind of meant to be like the kind of sandy ground and then I'm doing the second section um, and this would have been done one at a time across all four it doesn't always show like that obviously when I'm stamping it here because I'm not going to show the same bit over and over again so just assume that each section is going to be stamped one part at a time now for the star in the sky I used the uh, stamping up white ink what I liked actually about this was that it didn't ink solid it kind of inked with this kind of edge to it I kind of felt like it gave a real glow to it um, it takes quite a while to dry this particular ink so just give it some time then I stamped some sentiments and I just used the two inks so the dapper denim and the berry color to create my sentiments and then I just cut those down into a rectangle so basically just to size I did it wasn't to any particular measurement it was just so that it was exactly fitting around the edges of each part of the actual sentiment so once the ink has completely dried on these front four pieces all we need to do now is attach them to the front of our card base so for that I'm just using some tape pen it's just paper it's quite light so it doesn't need anything super strong like a, a wet construction glue or anything like that what I do tend to do is actually glue all four uh, ready to go because I just personally find it easy and quick just to put the adhesive on the back of all four and then just quickly plonk them down in position so we've already matted and layered our pattern piece onto the white card we've obviously got the inside color done so make sure that you attach the dapper denim stamped piece to the dapper denim card because that would be a real pain if you did it the wrong way around and then the next thing that we want to do once we've attached all our fronts is to attach our sentiments so again making sure that the right color goes to the right card and again I'm just putting adhesive on the back of all four to start with because personally as I say I find that just a quicker way of doing it you'll notice it here I've used tape pen again and that's because it's a Christmas card normally I might pop that up onto uh, foam to give it some dimension but I do know that with Christmas cards people really do tend to prefer them flat as possible unless they're like really special cards because then it uh, makes it a lot easier to post especially when you've got so many to post and obviously cheaper to post so I tend to try and keep them flat if I can which is why I thought this was quite effective this whole card really because you've got a lot of dimension with it with the different layers of stamping but it actually is completely flat so I put that one down and it wasn't quite straight so I just um, because it's tape pen you can easily just lift it up one, just if you're quick and just adjust it but otherwise that's those sentiments placed and I think that the sentiment there with the white of the 
uh, star as well just works really really well and you might have noticed that there's a little sort of dotty bit at the bottom in the right hand corner I just added that actually off camera just again I felt there was like a gap and I just thought that it added almost like a little speckledy sandy section to that bottom corner and that is a four cards done now obviously with something like this it would be really really easy to make more than four I just thought uh, four was a good number just for the purposes of our video so I hope you've enjoyed making this card with me or these cards rather and as always I will have a list of products used with links on the blog post and of course loads of photos I always go for loads of photos I'm sorry but I just think it makes it easier you can't always see as well on here as you can with the photos so if you want to go over to the blog post all you need to do is click on the link in the paragraph below this video here on YouTube and it will take you straight to the blog post. It will also give you an opportunity to subscribe to my website if you haven't done so already. And once you subscribe, all that means is that you will get an email every time I post a video. That's it, nothing more, nothing less. And so that just means that you will be one of the first to know that a video has been posted. So that's always got to be a good thing. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you again next time. Bye for now. Bye.